On July 3rd, 2017, I walked out that door and I was heading to work. I rushed off, I had a mess in the house, I expected to come back home that afternoon and clean it. Well, nothing turned out that way. In fact, when I walked out that door, that was the last time my legs carried me on their own to go anywhere. You see, I climbed on a motorcycle, went down the A14, and uh, got knocked off it, and my legs were damaged uh, pretty extensively. Now, up until that time, I had taken those legs for granted. But one thing happened I'm really grateful for, and that is uh, in April, just not even two months before that accident happened, I had a nice good walk through the Peak District. Got lots of good pictures and had a wonderful time. That was the last time I was able to do that. Now, I'm grateful for that time and I'm grateful for those pictures. And they always remind me that we can't ever take anything for granted. We can't take our legs for granted, our ability to walk for granted. We can't take our sight or anything for granted. Not even those we love. We have to remember that if we take things for granted, then at that particular moment when they're being taken for granted, we're, we're, not, uh, we're not thankful for them. We're, we're not being grateful for them. We're just assuming they're going to be there forever. And I just, I just have to share this passage. And I'm sure you're familiar with it. It says from James, and it says, Now listen, you who say, today or tomorrow, we will go to this city or that city, spend a year, carry on business, and make money. Why, you don't even know what will happen tomorrow. What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if it is the Lord's will, we will live and do this or that. James is telling us, look, we have whatever we have at this moment, but it might not be here tomorrow. So, let's look at what we have every day, one day at a time, be thankful for it, truly thankful for everything. And you see, you can't really do that unless you're consciously making at least a mental note uh, or even a list of the things that you're thankful for. Those things may not be here tomorrow. One more thing, uh, if we do lose something, it's not as much of a blow if we were grateful for them before we lost them. You see, I can be thankful for the 51 years I had with good legs. I wish I had more years, but I don't. Or at least I had 51, that's more than so many people. And uh, boy, we could just surely be thankful for that. 